Hello, hello friends. Welcome back to the Bad Bitch Academy. Today, I want to talk to you guys about something that happened to me a couple of days ago. And I'm just gonna get into it. Okay, so I was talking to my friend and then she was like, oh my God, you know, I keep having these dreams about like backpacking across the country and traveling and being like a nomad, a digital entrepreneur. And I was like, oh my God, how fucking awesome. And she's like, yeah, but you know, that'll probably never happen. Or maybe one day it'll happen. And I was like, why, why do you keep saying one day? Like, why are you not just doing it? And it really made me kind of realize that so often, like, we get these ideas in these downloads and we think that they're fucking meaningless. We think that like, yeah, you know, I just drink too much Dr. Pepper and now I'm having crazy dreams at night. I don't fucking know. And it's like, <laughs> your intuition and the universe and God or whatever you believe in communicates with you through your dreams, through your thoughts, through those crazy ideas that are in your head that you might be like, I don't know, this kind of feels random. So I just wanted to make a video about this and kind of share because I really truly believe that all of the random ideas and thoughts that come into our head comes to you for a reason. It's not random. It's not just for no reason. It's literally for a reason. And can you start to listen to that voice of reason? Can you start to trust that what you are receiving is coming to you because it's meant for you? Can we maybe just start to believe that and take action on those visions that we have? Like if you notice that you're stuck in the same place that you've been year after year, things aren't changing, but you're ignoring these little nudges these little like taps on the shoulder of like, hey, I think you should go this way. And you're like, no, nah, fuck out of here, right? <laughs> like how can you maybe just trust that just a little bit more? Just taking one step in that direction. Maybe you have an idea to go backpacking. Maybe instead of just saying, okay, fuck it, I'm selling my shit, I'm buying a one-way ticket. Maybe you're like, okay, let me research and like watch some YouTube videos about backpackers or let me look at some countries that I might wanna to travel to and just be curious. Like just be curious about what those thoughts are and about why these things might be coming to you because let me tell you, that is your fucking intuition. Like that is your intuition. Like when I see people ignoring the signs, I just wanna like, you know, I listen to it fucking listen to it. It's not that hard, y'all. Like, your life would be like 10 times better if you would just fucking listen to your intuition. <sighs> Sorry, I gotta calm down. I'm getting like too hyped right now. <sighs> so, moral of the story. Listen to your intuition. Listen to those thoughts and those ideas that are coming through because they are really coming through for a reason. And if you can start to trust, trust in the divine plan, trust in those little nudges that are leading you on your way, let me tell you, things are gonna work out for you and you are going to be amazed, just truly amazed. And it's really interesting, right? Because we all, we're all into different things, right? Like let's take LeBron James for an example, okay? I'm sure when he was younger, he would have these dreams and these visions of like, fuck, I wanna be an NBA player. I wanna play basketball. I wanna be a pro. It's very unlikely that he was like, you know, I've got the dream of being a fisherman. I think I wanna be on the open waters and I wanna catch salmon. Like that is very unlikely that that was his dreams because that's not his life purpose. That's not his dharma. That is not what he is here to do. It's not what he's here to do. So what about you? What things are you here to do? And what thoughts and visions are coming through for you? 
Did you always want to be a model? Did you always have dreams of being a comedian, right? Do you really, really just want to make documentaries or be a photographer? Like what are those things that pique your interest and how can you start to follow them? And it's like, as I was saying this, it really kind of like brought back a memory of me from when I was a child. And it's like, you know, when you're a kid and you're like, ooh, I want to play the drums. I want to play the guitar. I want to try all these different instruments. And then you try it for a couple of weeks and then you don't want to do it anymore. And your parents are like, oh my God, I literally spent so much money. And now you just change your mind and you don't want to do it. And I think that maybe like, there are some limiting beliefs and there are some early childhood things coming up to the surface perhaps that is stopping us from maybe going after what we want. And if you're like, ah, oh, it's just an idea, it's just a dream, maybe it's not possible. I want you to just take a look at like, when was the first time I felt this way? Did you maybe tell your parents when you're younger that you had a dream of being an author and they're like, child, authors don't make any money. You need to get a real job. Like, I don't know. What did your family say to you when you talked about your hopes and dreams? Did they shoot you down? Did they encourage you and lift you up? I would say, I don't know. I hope you were in a great family that, that lifted you up. But a lot of us had parents who were like, no, I want to ground you in reality. I want you to know that like, I don't want you to hurt yourself or waste your time. And it's like, I know they're coming from a place of love. They're not trying to hurt you, but they had their own set of limiting beliefs and their own experiences that they had that is why they might tell you a certain thing as well. I digress. I think I'm getting a little bit off topic. But what I'm trying to say here is follow those intuitive nudges. Follow them. When you get an idea for something, start being curious about it. Start looking into it. Start watching videos or reading articles or just doing a little bit of research because if you start doing that research and you feel this like spark in your soul and if you feel this like oh my god this is interesting this is drawing me i'm feeling lit up right now that is a sign that you need to take another step and take one step even further and keep doing more research keep taking that action and moving in that direction and i promise you that if you do you are going to be led on such a beautiful path and I just want to share my own personal story of how this is kind of ring true in my own life. But uh, maybe like five or six years ago, I had this intuitive nudge that I wanted to travel. I was like, I need to just travel, move somewhere new. And I, you know, decided on New Zealand. I was actually led to New Zealand. And when I went to New Zealand, I went, it's so crazy. I like, I can't even tell you all the synchronicities that happened. I'm trying to like tell the short version so the story isn't too long. But essentially, I had that intuitive nudge to go to New Zealand. While I was there, I had another, another intuitive nudge for, of like, okay, it's New Year's, I wanna do something fun, let me go to a festival. I went to this festival and that's where I met my husband. And after, you know, meeting my husband and falling in love, we ended up getting married and we moved to Amsterdam. And while I was in Amsterdam, I had this intuitive nudge of like, I don't know, I need to just make new friends. I really need more positive people in my life. And from there, I met, you know, I really manifested and called in this girl that I met. Her name was Amina. And she took me to my first yoga class. She taught me about drop shipping. And because I met her, that is how my journey to entrepreneurship really began. Like, I became a yoga teacher. I had my own clothing brand. I started my own businesses. I got into personal growth and manifestation. And all of these little things that are like so important to my life now happened because I followed that intuitive nudge to go to New Zealand. So I really truly feel this in my heart that like those nudges that we get are there for a reason. And I want you to start listening to them and start trusting them and start to follow them. So when you have these ideas of like, ooh, maybe I wanna go here or I wanna try this or I wanna move to a new city or whatever, just be curious about it 
and just take one step. Like I'm not saying you just sell your shit and move across the country, but start doing some research, start looking into it. And if you still feel that excitement or if that excitement, that curiosity grows even more, that's how you know that you are meant to be on that path. So I'm really curious, like, let me know in the comments, what kind of things is your soul or your intuition guiding you to do? What things are drawn, are being drawn to you? Let me know in the comments because I just want to follow you along in this journey. I'm here to support you, to encourage you, to help you out in any way that I can. And I really just want you to start thinking like, what is being called to me? Like, what is that? What messages am I getting? What are those intuitive nudges? And just bring them into your awareness so that you can slowly start to get curious and start to take action. So thanks again for watching this video. If you liked it, I would love for you to comment below. Let me know if any downloads or things inspired you. Um, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in another video.